everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to be packing for a five-day trip in my new donut backpack so will it all fit we shall see so i'm gonna go through everything um that i am packing and we'll see if it can fit in the bag so I will be using packing cubes to help me keep help keep me organized during the trip. And yeah, that's it. Let's go through all the items that we have. All right, so this is all that I am taking with me. I will be going to um the East Coast, so Philadelphia, DC, that type area and it will be in june so it's going to be summer so i don't need a lot of layers so we will just go down the list and see what we have here so let's start i have three rompers so luckily you know with rompers you don't have to take extra clothing you just wear one piece of clothing and that's good enough so each romper represents three different days so that's one, two, three. So that's already three days down packed. I have, this is like my bonnet to wear to sleep. I have one pair of leggings, two tank tops. I have two pairs of shorts because I'm going to be going hiking. So I'll be wearing one of them. I have two shirts. I have two sets of pajamas, so pajama shorts, and a tank top and a t-shirt. In terms of underwear, I have uh, six pairs of underwear and a wash rag. I have a microfiber type towel, which is very compact, as you can see. It also is quick, fast drying, so which is perfect because you don't want you know a wet towel in your book bag or in your luggage so that's why i got that in terms of makeup sorry stuff is just falling around in terms of makeup i have lip gloss lip stain and just stuff for like my eyebrows eyeliner mascara very simple, very simple makeup. I really don't usually wear makeup that much, so that's why it's so it's small. I have Too Faced, my contacts, contact solution. I have disinfectant wipes, a mini first aid, which which is just alcohol wipes and band aids. I have my face wash, um, face lotion, like the Cetaphil things I just poured it into these containers I have lotion shea butter which I use to moisturize my body and I have dove soap which I usually use to wash this is my allergy medication I am allergic to pollen and mold so I take it usually in the summer I have my phone charger cord, um, the USB charging, and regular headphones. And the block has two USB ports, so that's good. I might be on my period near the end of the trip, so I'm bringing my Diva Cup just in case. Hopefully not. Oh, I do not want to be on my period while I'm on the trip. So I'll also probably be adding Advil um, with my medications just in case I do get on my period. I have hand sanitizer, wet ones. I have my Bluetooth headphones, an extra phone, my portable charge charger, my Kindle, and a diary. And then I have my crossbody that I'll wear throughout the day. Sandals that I might wear depending on how much I'll walk. So either my gym shoes or my sandals. 
and then these are shower shoes so that is it so that is all that i'm taking with me more or less i might add some stuff later but um i'm sure this book bag will be able to fit it all all right so i will be starting um with the largest packing cube and that's where it's gonna have all my clothes even my underwear all that type stuff and so to fit all these clothes in here I'll be rolling my 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 clothes be rope back <laughs> so let's get started <laughs> keeping my dirty clothes while I'm on my trip. This is actually a huge bag, it's very spacious. I um, realized I probably could have packed differently to save some space, but spoiler alert, everything was able to fit in uh, with some extra space. So this could probably, this book bag can probably fit another two or three days but that's if you don't have as much stuff I mean yeah as much stuff as me if you do have more stuff than me then it may fit less days like maybe a, an extended weekend or something like that so I'm just adding everything in and as you can see my Kindle and my portable charger I'm actually going to place in the back pocket because I want it to be able to take them out easily during TSA so I won't have to open the main compartment so I put it in the back pocket but yeah everything fit all right so i am just measuring the book bag to see if it will fit frontier standards so it's supposed to be 14 by 18 by 8 so the width is 13 the height 
turned out to be about 17, um, between, yeah, 17 and 18. And what didn't fit was the depth, which is supposed to be eight. Um, but at first it was like between nine and 10. So I removed the Kindle and the portable charger but the it only went down to like nine so hopefully they don't stop me i think i should be fine now i am going to try on the book bag to see how it looks. I'm 5'2", so pretty short. This is how it looks on a short person. The side, the back, and the other side. So I don't think, um, it feels pretty good actually. It doesn't feel super heavy. It doesn't feel super heavy for what I'm bringing, but it does look big. So I'm hoping that, um, Lord, please let it go through without me having to pay for it. All right, I know it's loud out here, but um, I just wanted to thank you for watching my video. Um, pray that it goes through and I don't have to pay any extra because I'm writing on Frontier. So, yeah all my stuff it fits and i feel like i probably could have fit um even more stuff so we'll see how it does